So you want to get shredded like this guy here. Let's talk about it. The ugly truth about getting shredded. Here, here, here. Pa, pa, pa. Do I look great there? Yeah. F I'm really proud of myself, put in a lot of work. It was like six months of dieting to get to that position. I stumbled, I crawled, I f <laughs> It was a, a real sh show to get there, but I got there in the end. Rashes between my legs from doing cardio, bicep injury that I couldn't lift my arm up above my shoulder without like crazy pain, like two weeks out of my photo shoot. What people don't oftentimes tell you is the negative side of things. Now, do I believe that everybody should go on a health journey to reach their ideal physique? Yes. Because for me personally, as someone that grew up from a 16 year old boy with a lot of insecurities, I needed to reach that to show myself I was capable of being just like everybody else. Because that's a big thing for me. I need to know that I'm capable. I need to know that I can do something if I set my, set my mind to it. I think that's a really important thing for everybody watching. And it was a really important thing for me. So do I recommend doing it, even though it was hard? Yes. But do I recommend doing it in a, in a, in a much more balanced way? Yes. I believe now in a long-term solution to that problem. I think if you set long-term goals, three to five years, not only are you gonna maintain an amazing physique over a long period of time, it's gonna keep you involved on a straight line, more or less, for a longer period of time than if you shed a short-term goal and hit it, and then you're like, well, what's next? Because I've blasted myself and I'm depleted. This goes for ladies as well. Ladies, wow. if you see girls with small asses, six packs, a lot of those girls, they don't have their period anymore, hair's going really wiry, hormones get thrown out, there's so many negative health consequences. So if your period goes out, obviously you're not gonna be able to have babies. Uh, and, and, and the myriad of other things that go along with that. The effects on your relationships, because you can't go out to have fun with your, with your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend. That puts a lot of pressure on you as well. And then not only that, you're tired, you feel depleted, you're constantly looking in the mirror. It's quite laborious. And so that's the truth about all this sort of six pack stuff. For ladies, unfortunately, because they have a higher body fat naturally, it throws off a lot of their hormones, their ability to, to reproduce, and that can lead to permanent negative health consequences. Yes, I mean permanent, which is crazy. So what I would recommend if you're a woman is to not do that, to get somewhere close to that in a healthy way. Well, let's say if you lose your period for one month, getting your body fat back up to a place where that doesn't happen or doing it slower over a period of time versus a quick blast. So set a two year goal for that to happen. Same thing for guys, your libido is gonna go down so you're not gonna find your partner as attractive or women out in the world as attractive. You're gonna be struggling with sleep, all sorts of stuff. So would I suggest and recommend it like in the short term period? No. Short term, long term, yes. But look at all those things. Now, if you're someone that, like for me, I like wow. having sex a lot. So I'm not gonna wanna not want to do that. If it meant I had to be a higher body fat, body fat percentage, but then I was still keen to go to town in the bedroom, then yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna eat some more food and wanna have sex than not. Cause that just sounds like, a stu like that's stupid to me. So that's kind of where I draw my lines. Everybody's different. Some people are okay with having no libido. Some people feel like that's a good thing. I don't, but you're open to obviously that opinion. So those are kind of the lines and those are the kind of expectations. If you're a girl, expect to, you know, lose your reproductive uh, systems functioning for a period of time. Uh, expect your hair to go wiry. You might start growing small hairs on your arms. That's in order to trap in heat as a uh, energy preservation method for us because we're effectively starving ourselves. So that's what your body will naturally do. You'll find that in a lot of people who are an uh, anorexic as well. A lot of girls that are anorexic, guys too, but you don't typically see that as often. Uh, they'll have little small hairs all over their body. That's a, the way uh, their bo our bodies can trap in heat. And for uh, guys, expect low libido uh, and, and, and all the other things that go along with that. Low energy, etc. Same with girls, low energy. That is the truth about being shredded. Hope you guys have found this video interesting. Peace in the Middle East. Love ya, touch ya, heal ya. Done.